Welcome back to Endless Wonder. I'm Jeff. And I'm Jason. Today we are departing from... Oh, so scary. We are actually on the high speed train and we are actually departing from Suzhou North Station to Beijing. So let's enjoy the ride. Rocks Beijing. <laughs> and this is Leonard and Linda. Hi. <laughs> So the total journey to Beijing from Suzhou is about 4 hours and 30 minutes and if you are sitting in the first class you will also get a free small gift and a small water bottle so let's take a look inside yeah. Oh, there are some small snacks we have what is this? What is this? This one? Fruit skin, I think. And we have roasted peanuts. Bakwa. And what else? Soda biscuit. Bless that. Enjoy our breakfast. So let's go around to explore the train. We are in the first class cabins and this is the washroom. As you can see it's quite clean and there are two toilets. That's a shit. Alright, so we are currently exploring around the train and walking to the dining carriage at cabin 9. So here we go! A day, in, a day in Beijing right now, we just alighted from a long 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 trip of bullet train. It's very comfortable because we ordered the first class fortunately. Yeah, so really excited here. I believe the train station looks the same with uh, Suzhou. It's really crowded in right in front. A lot of people like the station. I believe this is the last station. Therefore, let's explore Beijing. Beijing, Huaning. Huaning, Oh my god, so small! Are you sure this is the room we we book? Are you sure? Are you sure this is the room we book? We got a big disappointment because maybe after the big downgrade from uh, Pentax. So, the room is so small! We got a big downgrade from Pentax! And this is the longest stay throughout our, the entire China trip. Okay, it's very clean at least, uh, but it's very squeezy. Uh, let's see the bathroom. Okay, shower, toilet. The bathroom is big. And uh, you have no privacy. Uh, you tap in. Oh. You know that you're going to cover up. Cover up. Okay. Green China. Gentana, yo. Gentana. Acceptable, acceptable. Hello everyone, we are in Beijing. 
you know that we are eating. Look at the duck. I need to wrap with the uh, meat. Mm, with the meat, right? Okay, take one dark skin and one cucumber. A little bit of sugar. Where's the white color thing? Reddish? Or white? Just... <laughs> Hello everyone, we are at Temple of Heaven. We're going to pray for a cloudy day today. So it will be colder. If not today, it's super eh, hot. Go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Casual, casual. Okay, ready? Okay, so I think this place is a very nice place to come once, but I will not come a second time. But it's worth taking a trip here since you're already in Beijing. So, actually, we are completing one last stop before we head out. How is this place? Do you like it? I like it. It's very huge, and although it's very super crowded, but you know, it's the first time I'm in China. Always see those Gong Ting Ji, they come here and pray. And finally, I'm here today. Then, yeah, it's such an amazing experience here. So, I definitely, you know, I will give it a really a 10 out of 10 to come here to actually experience the history. There's so much history in this building as well. Yes, exactly. And the building structure and all the painting are very good, impressive. How do you feel? I'm so symmetrical. This is totally my place because I'm the Gong Zhu. Hello, hello, hello. Please, sun don't come out. Hello, hello. <laughs> No rice. No? So what is that? You should make no. a wish when you are there. No, then I can make another wish, right? Yeah, go again. Nothing different. It's just standing on the stone. But it says to be a heavenly, uh, what? Heaven, heaven center stone. So if you are standing on the stone, you can talk to the heaven. Is it? Yeah, I thought it is. Uh, okay, talk again. Go and wish, uh. Is it? Is it a place for you to wish? Okay, okay, go, go. This is the skill I learned from Shuzhou. How to lao mian. So, how to lao mian? Can you take some time now? It's really the jajang mian taste. Bean paste taste is very strong, which is very nice for a jajang mian. And the noodle is really taste like udon, really chewy, very easy to bite. 
and overall I believe the taste is really good and the portion is super big and you can feel the noodles as well as the sauce unlimited so yeah unlimited yeah so I believe this is a very very good meal maybe you bring 10 people come order one and share <laughs> I think we should ask for sauce we also get the Beijing Kao Ya Wow! I thought it's it up. The skin itself looks nicer than the one that we had just now. Oh my god! This is more crispy! Okay, my turn to try the Beijing Kaoya first. Let's try the skin first without the meat. Well, actually, compared to Sizi Ming Fu, I think the Beijing Kaoya in Sizi Ming Fu is better. This is more crispy. This is a bit soggy. But the price I can eat two. Mm. Okay, it's cheaper. I want to try the cabbage. Mm. What is the sauce? Huh? It's actually peanut. Mm. Mm. This is peanut sauce with cabbage. It's really very nice. Try. Okay. Hello everyone, we are back to the shopping street at Huang Fu Jin and the scale is much smaller than the, the one in Shanghai. But the shop here looks more exciting compared to the Shanghai one because it's more uh, commercial brands and it's more vibrant on the street. Actually, no, I don't agree with that. I think Shanghai is more people and more but interesting all shops. The shops are repeated. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Tong Seng. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Good morning everyone, so our hotel actually comes with complimentary breakfast and this breakfast place actually surprised us because we didn't expect we have so many food choices. Cannot make up my mind, too much selection already, oh my gosh. Wow, a zombie. Ah. <laughs> you try to jump? <laughs> actually heavy. Heavy. Is it? Mm. Very heavy. Hey, this is some other one. This is some other one. This is some other one. This is some So we just done changing our costume to Huang Ti and Huang Ye and Huang Ye and we have a uh, don't know what is that and uh, Gurkha. I miss Gurkha. So let's go to the Forbidden City. Let's go. Hi everyone, we are back to the palace. The Huang Ti cannot enter from the from, from the main door and he has to go to the side door and queue for the entrance. How dare they you need to queue and come in? There's actually rented an uh, explanation uh, figure to actually explain this place. It costs around 20 to 40 renminbi. 20 for Chinese and 40 for English. I think it's very useful if you visit the first time. It's because it really explains very detailed on everything it's, and it's very light. It's just like a earpiece and just walk around Yeah, so you auto detect a location and explain the story behind the building So let's explore the palace Let's go! He became a superstar in the palace yeah? Everyone asked to take photo with him Awkward Let's go to the other hall So hot ah Melting. Uh. Peace, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
很多人在前面看我的照片。哥哥吉祥，平生。是的。<笑>马上去摸一圈。太累了呀。So we are going to rent a bike to return our costume to Wang Fu Shiji Guangchang. So all you need to do is just to use your Alipay to scan the bicycle and upload your passport photo and to wait for verification. So it's really simple. So it took around 5 to 10 minutes to get approved for the spot because you do it on the spot as well. So I believe after it says that you are approved, then you can just scan on any bike and just like Oppo in Singapore, then you can just go to anywhere that you want as super to purchase. Let's <laughs> And this place is actually famous for Xiao Long Xia and also crab and seafood. So if you have time to wait, of course you can get the queue number. But uh, it roughly will take about two to three hours to get a table. Yeah, because we are rushing tonight for dinner and go back for rest. Therefore, we will be not coming tonight, but we will come other day during supper. So the, hopefully the queue will be shorter next time. No. no. Hello Wanderlers, right now we are at the bottoms of the Great Wall of China so we, we are planning to go up and take the cable car as well as take down the Lush ride so really excited and today also quite quiet and not much worries so hopefully it will be an enjoyable day and Linda is trying to hike up the mountain already so let's see <laughs> and we actually took the TT to Mu Tian Yu. So the DD driver actually uh, asked us want to book the entire day because he said that uh, you can come in but when you go down you're unable to get a car. So he wanted to charge us 800. 800 but we managed to bargain in until 600 but I think we can. Huh? We pay additional 200 renminbi to buy his time to wait for us at the mountain park car park here. So that when we return to Beijing, we are able to get a car from Mu Tian Yu. Bye bye. 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 Bye Let's go! 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 Let's go!
，发了呢。Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. Look at I was not prepared, but I'm still pretty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we are at the Great Wall of China. As you can see, right now it's really steep, and when you go up, really do have to be really careful. Today, fortunately, there's not much tourists. We are going up slowly and steadily. Hopefully, we can you know reach the top of the Great Wall and have a nice photo. A lot of people there. Eh? You see, the whole thing is a white color shirt. Alright, so this is a very, very extremely steep uh, staircase. Uh, I don't think we will be going up because it's really dangerous. And when it's good, it will be easy. But when you come down, then that's the hell begin. So you can just hang around here and take some photo like what Linda and Leonard did. And yeah, they are trying to get a good catch of the photo in the Great Wall to blend into the wall as well. So, uh, yeah, like, just like a, yeah, just like the LG on the on the wall. Then Leonard is the is the bird poop on the floor, and he wearing I love my wife shirt today. So got forced, and yeah, go up then come down. All right and. Leonard and I are going up to the mountain and I think it's quite high here. This part of Great Wall is really steep when you are climbing up to the top and look at how steep is the stairs. And I actually have a little bit of loose of balance just now when I was looking down. So if you are scared of height, I don't really recommend to climb up to the peak because you will have problems when going down. It's really like uh, 75 degrees directly straight to the bottom. Alright, and this is another part of the Great Wall. And this part is even steeper than just now that one. And this one is without the hand rolling at the side. So we have finished the Great Wall and we are going down by Toboggan and slide down from the Great Wall. During the ride, he kept emphasizing that we underpaid him and asking for more tips. After the Great Wall, we were supposed to choose our drop-off location as promised. He argued that the location wasn't fun. We got frustrated and asked to go back to our hotel. Okay, so this is the first floor of the hotel that we are having here in Beijing. So let's try how it tastes like. I think need some sauce. Now you want to try with cheese? Yeah, I'll try with cheese. 
After hearing what Leonard said, it sounds quite boring, but let me try. Okay, first of all, the bread is a bit chunk, so it's a bit hard on the outside. And the meat is extremely soft. But I can actually taste some, you know, onions, pepper in the meat. So, it can be a good breakfast, but for lunch wise, it's a bit too bland. Not strong enough. Yeah, so overall, it's still okay. It's, it's, for breakfast, it'll be very good. We are currently at the box park. They have a lot of shops selling uh, a lot of hipster stuff and all the young people uh, clothing and fashion. Yeah, as you can see, right, we have been shopping for so many days and we didn't buy anything. And right now we are just at the first spot and Jeff already bought something. What do you mean by very nice? This one, this one really nice. Let me, let me explain. So uh, overall, I believe uh, thanks to the tour, the lady mm. that actually Jeff asked is a local. Then actually she recommended this. And at first we was thinking like, oh my god, is it the Chuan Chuan that is not hot again? But look at this, it's super hot. And we ordered the Xiao Su Ro. The Xiao Su Ro is really crispy, like popcorn chicken with spicy version with it. And the Ma La, this is the Suan La Fen. It's also very good. It's not very spicy. It's very appetizing. And this noodle, oh my gosh, it's really, really good. It's a tan, tan amin, right? And this weird looking dessert, I, I want to talk. Yeah, so this weird looking dessert actually looks weird, but it's just a mochi, fried mochi with a red, a red sugar cane sauce that is super, super mm. duper good. This fries is a bit meh, and this chuan chuan. We a bit scared of China level of spiciness, so we get the least spicy and they mentioned that it's not really spicy. So yeah, as you can see the smoke, oh my gosh. It's really good and let's dig in. Overall, I think this is the best chuan chuan in China. Make sure if you came to China in any, I believe any part of the city, they should have the store. So it's really good. So please come and visit this and enjoy the food as we enjoy heat right now. Yay! just had our brunch at the grandma place and we are here at the summer palace yeah right now here is super crowded because it's a saturday and it was known to be a emperor and empress's summer holiday place but it's very dusty here so if you are here uh, it's recommended to wear your sunglasses to avoid the dust go into your eye oh my god look at the people if you want to come to the summer palace please try to avoid saturday and sunday because this is the crowd you can see on the weekend. You finish your energy first. You know why are we stopping here? Because after so long, we still have so many stairs to go up. Alright, 
so we have finished uh, visiting the Summer Palace. Overall, I believe um, it's, if it's not crowded, this will be a very nice, uh, relaxed place for you to actually to go around and see the, the site as well as the lake view. Then if right now it's super crowded, then I don't really enjoy it because of the sun. Now we'll be going to a modern place, which is like the Media Corp in Beijing. And let's go and see is it worth the visit. So we ran from a shopping mall to this very hidden restaurant in the alley and then we ordered a Tepo Brewing beer. Yeah, so actually we came to this restaurant is because uh, fortunately we go to all the shopping mall restaurant at 9 pm and all the store closed and reject us within. So we ran and got asked someone for recommendations and we walked in the extremely cool wind and cold weather with Leonard t shirt on and we ran like almost at a uh, 500 meter short run to this uh, hidden restaurant in the neighborhood area. So um, we came in and saw this unique beer that we never see before. It's called Tepo Bring Beer and it's called Ke Dou Jing Liang, which means in Chinese it was brewed by the Tepo. Then we are very curious to ask the auntie here is this brewed by Tepo? Is it Tepo inside? And the answer is yes. And let's pour it out and see who can drink it. And is it a big table or a small table? So actually today is my birthday and I bought a birthday present for myself. It's the full collection of Hachi Poo Poo's uh, constellations. And yeah, for, to Jeff, Jeff say waste of money, but to me, I love it. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. To you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. 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 Okay, so the fish actually tastes really really good. Yeah, green pepper and meat stir fry is also very nice. But the only thing that is not nice is the chuan chuan. So the bread is quite dry, but the rest of the food is amazing. Hi, good morning everyone. So today is our last day in Beijing and our last breakfast will be Thai Er Suan Cai Yu. In Singapore, it's very hardly to actually to get your queue, but right now in the morning, we are the first and only customer. So let's dig in and see is it the best fish in China. It's the end of our Beijing trip and we'll see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Endless Wonder and follow us on TikTok and Instagram. And we'll see you again. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Which means you mean you have bubble tea? This is Kerto. Guys, don't drink beer, drink vaping yang. This is my favorite <laughs> drink here. Where's the depot? No gas, no shake. Not very strong, not very bitter. It's actually Xiao Mai Pi Jiu. They're all in the pit.